Hi, welcome to my channel, Jabbertang. Uh, here's a problem about a rectangle that is twice as long as it is wide. You could see from the graph and has the same perimeter as the square. Well, the square has equal sides, so I use different letter here, Y, instead of X and 2X. Whose area is 25 square feet larger than that of the rectangle. That's the square. What are the dimensions of both the rectangle and the square? We are given that a rectangle is twice as long as it is wide. So we have x and 2x. The width is x, the length is 2x. And the square, I called it y for each side. The rectangle has the same perimeter as the square. The perimeter of the rectangle will be the same as the perimeter of the square, whose area the square right here is 25 square feet larger than that of the rectangle. So to solve any problem like this one, a good start would be identifying uh, the variables that you have and maybe graph some graphs and point to the sides with those variables. Area of the square is 25 more or larger than the area of the rectangle. That's my other equation. So I have two equations. Mathematically, two equations with two variables. The variables are x and y. Now, Here is the first, uh, the graphs from the first slide. And the perimeter of the rectangle will be x plus 2x plus x plus 2x. The perimeter of the rectangle will be 6x, if you add them up, like terms. The perimeter of the square will be adding the four sides, y plus y plus y plus y which is 4y. We are given that the perimeter of the rectangle is equal to the perimeter of the square, which means we have, we have 6x equals 4y. That's my first equation. Divide by 2 to simplify, because 6x and 4y, they both divide by 2. Doing that, we'll have less numbers to deal with. 3x equals 2y. Now, let's divide by 3. The reason why? I want to have x by itself. You'll see that in a minute. Why I want to have x by itself. You could have y by itself, but it would be easier to have x by itself. So let's divide by 3. Dividing by 3, I will have x equals 2y divided by 3. And on the left, the 3 cancels. That's something to keep in mind. That's why I'm boxing it to get back to it. Now, the second piece of information that gives me the other equation was about the area. The area of the square is 25 more than the area of the rectangle. But the area of the rectangle is width and length, multiply x times 2x. And the area of the square is y times y, which is y to the second. Let's multiply x times 2x. I'll get 2x to the second. And now I will have x right here that we came up with from the first equation after we simplified everything, to substitute that right here. And this is what I mean. So instead of x under the square, I'm going to write 2y over 3. And we're going to 
use algebra to simplify the following right here squaring 2y over 3 the 2 will be squared the y will be squared and 3 will be squared so I'll have 4y to the second over 9 multiply 2 times 4 because this 2 is like 2 over 1 I'll have 8y squared over 9 Subtract 8y squared over 9 from both sides. This will be like 9 over 9, which is 1y squared. When you subtract 9 over 9 minus 8 over 9 of y squared, you'll get 1 ninth. So we have 1 ninth y squared equals 25. Multiply both sides by 9 or by 9 over 1 to leave y squared alone. I have y squared equals 225, 25 times 9. Taking the square root, we're not going to write plus minus because y is a length of the square, of the side of the square. And that will give me 25. Uh, sorry, 15. Now we have y and we need x, but this is exactly what we're going to be using because it states clearly what is x. So if you want x and you know y, you just plug it in here for y and you'll end up with the value for, for x. So we have x equals 2 thirds y. Plug in 15 for y. 15 and 3, they both simplify and divide by 3. And I end up with 5 times 2, which is right there. Divide by 3, 1. Divide by 3, by 3, 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Now we have x equals 10. 2x will be 20. And y will be 15, 15, 15, 15. Let's double check. So I have 15 here, and I have 10, and I said 20 right here, 2 times x, 2 times 10. We said the parameters are the same. The perimeter right here will be 20 plus 10 plus 20 plus 10. Two twenties, that's 40. 50, 60, that's 60 total. The Perimeter of the square will be 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15, four sides equal to 15 each, and that is also 60. So that's the first part. Let's look at the area. The area of the rectangle will be length times width, 20 times 10, which is 200. Finding the area of the square will be 15 times 15 or 15 square and that's 225 but that is 25 more than 200 so the area of the square which is 225 is 25 more than the area of the rectangle that came up to be 200 area of the square is 225 that is 25 more than 200, which is the area of the rectangle. And that should do it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next one. Uh, it's about 10 minutes. I think that's fair enough for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see some more, and I'll see you in the next one.